A great way to fine tune this selection visually, it's easy, easy peasy, is to pop into what's known as quick mask mode. So we're gonna press the Q key, and y'all don't freak out because we're gonna repeat this. I can just feel y'all going, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so when you pop into quick mask mode, what Photoshop does is it gives you a nice kind of light red overlay across the areas that are not yet included in your selection. And just to make sure that your quick mask mode uh, feature is set up like mine, I want you to go ahead right now and locate the icon at the very, very bottom of the tools panel. It looks like a layer mask icon, a little circle within a square. I want you to give that a little double click. And what that does is open the quick mask options and do make sure just for the purposes of today, I want you to make sure that the color indicates masked areas because you can flip flop that. But I want to make sure that we're all using the tool in the same functionality. Okay, so go ahead and make sure that that is set to indicate the masked area or the area that's hidden. Okay. Okay. So, Press Q to pop into quick mask mode. Now what we can do is we can use our regular old brush tools set to paint with either white or black, and that will just allow us to fine tune the selection simply by painting. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna press B to activate the regular brush tool and go way down in brush size here. And this is just gonna make it a little bit easier for me to uh, select these small areas. So while you're painting with white, you're adding to the selection. So I'm gonna press Q to pop back out of quick mask mode. And you can see that now I've got the ski pole in my selection. I didn't have that in the selection before. Can you imagine trying to paint across that to add it to the selection with the quick selection tool? You'd be here till next week doing that. So pop back into quick mask mode. So this just allows you to use a brush tool to quickly paint in order to fine tune the edge of your selection. And again, I'm, I'm making my selection a little bit bigger than the thing I want to delete, just so we don't end up with any freaky skier outlines when we get rid of him. Okay, so now I've got a pretty good selection. Now let's say that I added too much to my selection all I'd have to do is flip-flop my color chips by pressing the X key so that I'm painting with black and I can just remove that area from the selection. So takes a little bit of time, but in some cases when you don't have a whole lot of contrast between what you're trying to select and what, what its background is, then popping into quick mask mode, starting out with the quick selection tool, popping into quick mask mode and fine-tuning the selection there can be very, very handy.